taking uh, the example of France, it's very interesting because we had, uh, of course, this 80% uh, of electricity out of the nuclear sector, uh, nuclear power plants, and uh, we engage, uh, like many other uh, uh, countries in Europe, to develop a, a renewable program, basically uh, through feed-in tariffs, so high price for electricity, out of solar and, 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 and wind power. And, and there you see uh, the, the, the complex mix between uh, unit policies. It was, of course, and then it was set. I was in the government at that time when we decided for the feed-in tariffs for the solar energy and the, the wind energy. Um, and uh, you could have said, oh, wait, it, it started a process. We will have decentralized power uh, production, and then we, we need the, the next step is to, hit, to need very good grids and in smart grids. To, to use this capacity and to combine these two very different models, uh, heavily centralized with a very decentralized. Uh, and so the story could be, uh, was nice, and, and uh, supported by the uh, European policy, and supported by climate talks. And, and you see that this uh, construction about how you create, in a way, a system uh, linked with, of course, obviously it was government-driven um, policies, uh, and some actors really betting on that. And then from a certain, because um, at one stage you, you, you begin to make the cost and benefit uh, analysis. And then because of this uncertainty around should we go really to the low carbon economies, and all the system is really getting not destroyed, but with a lot of problems. Now in France, you have a, a number of, of uh, economic actors uh, screaming that we, we have to get rid of the renewable policy, uh, we don't need, need it, so that the em, in emission trading market in Europe is inefficient, not giving signal enough to really to invest for these uh, new, new energy uh, sources. And so in a way you see uh, policies are very necessary, but the steadiness, the resilience of the policy, the long-term aspect is key when you have investment cycle, and of course energy is a very long investment cycle, you, you, as you said, you, you, you don't switch from one year to another one. So I, think, I see the problem where, because there is a lot of uncertainty or that really we can go to this low carbon economy, that's really the perspective. Uh, you have a lot of, of policies which seems very solid, and, and now we can be changed from, not from one day on the other, but really be uh, undermined. And that's, I think, the main problem we have. It's about an Israel industrial revolution, but sh can we have the policy signals that can last? Right. And in a way, I'm, I'm, I'm with a lot of question now. But I think if, if we think about the, the policy signals, and then you, know, you look at, say, the French political structure uh, and the US political structure being radically different, uh, I don't, uh, in Portuguese, I'm not sure, uh, uh, I don't know enough about the structure there, but you've got incredible variation in motivating the private sector, incredible ma variation, political culture and structure. So clearly you've got to talk about a multiplicity of approaches uh, that'll vary by location. Uh, we're not gonna get in the United States a single model for a nuclear power plant that would get through 50 state governments uh, with any, you know, unless we have a, a national emergency and we nationalize uh, energy production, which uh, I don't think that the people that just took over the House of Representatives are going to permit. 